Hey, welcome to Pond Points. Uh, Steve Poyer and Kelly Jacoby. We have a special guest today. We have Derek Taylor from Riddick Insurance. And Derek is going to talk about um, insurance and the mortgage process. Hey, Derek, how are you doing today? Hey, Kelly. I'm great. How are you doing? Good. Um, so we are trying to get our experts from the street and give us some uh, related information to just life in general and how some things are changing and what we need to be aware of. Um, so I guess you wanted to start off, you're going to tell us about the Clue Report. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the Clue Report is a report that most insurance companies are going to pull. And so, so whenever you're buying a home, you're going to call that insurance uh, agent that you have, and, and they're going to run you some quotes. And, and those, when they run those, requote, those quotes with different companies, the companies each are going to pull a Clue Report. And that Clue Report is going to give us the loss information for not only the home, but also the home buyer. And typically that loss information is for the past five years. Okay. So now, so why, from a home buyer's perspective, why is that important? Why is that, you know, kind of a critical part of the overall process? Because we don't see that when we're dealing with our home buyers. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and um, a lot of home buyers I find don't end up getting the information from the clue report and and sometimes it's not relevant but um but sometimes it, it can be very relevant for the home buyer and so i'll give you two examples uh, of when the home when the clue report was helpful to the home buyer and when uh, it was uh, irrelevant and inconsequential so the first example would be um, something that we see very often which is a, a roof claim hail damage on the roof so for instance if i'm doing insurance quotes and, and I see that the, the home has a prior loss, hail damage, uh, let's say it was in 2018. And I also see in the listing that the home owner got a new roof in 2018. I can pretty much assume that that claim resulted in a new roof. However, if it had not resulted in a new roof, let's say that the claim was from 2018, and the listing said that the roof was replaced in 2000. Well, we then know that the current roof has hail damage, which was not repaired. And so that's something that the home buyer would probably want to know in order to include in their due diligence investigation. Um, as recently as about two weeks ago, I had a, a scenario where a home buyer I was doing quotes for, uh, something popped up on the clue report. It was water damage to the home. It was fairly large claim. And it was fairly recent as well. And so I brought it to the attention of the home buyer and the home buyer took it to their buyer's agent. Uh, the buyer's agent did some more investigation and upon investigation, they found that although all the damage had been repaired to the home, the cause of the damage had not been repaired. Okay. And what the cause, what the cause was is they, they found out by talking to neighbors that that particular home in that neighborhood had a yard that floods during heavy rains. Um, and so the, the, the rain had accumulated enough during probably a hurricane where the bottom, the bottom floor of the house had flooded a couple of inches and it caused about $20,000 worth of damage. And so this particular home buyer found out that, you know, although the, the repairs had been made to the home, the possibility of that happening again uh, was there. And so they were not comfortable actually moving forward after finding that information out. Yeah, that's great. And they, they needed to be protected from future damage. How can a uh, home buyer obtain a copy of this report? Is that something that they can get on their own or they need to get it through an insurance agent? They have to get it through an insurance agent. And, you know, what I would, what I would tell people, and we'll go back to that last example, this particular home buyer had gotten three different insurance quotes from three different people uh -huh. uh, or companies. And I was the only one that brought that clue report to their attention. So, you know, not, it's not the obligation of the insurance agent to bring it to their intention. That clue report is there to help the insurance companies evaluate the risk of the policy itself. It's not there for the home buyer. And so it, if the home buyer wants it, they have to request it from the insurance agent. Um, they may not get the actual report, but the insurance agent could at least tell them, yes, I see that there was a claim on X date. Um, it was for, you know, X amount of dollars. And this is the, the cause of that damage. Typically, that's about all the information the insurance agent can see on those clue reports. Um, and so, you know, for this particular person, they had gotten an insurance quote from myself, another independent agent, 
and USAA. And, um, you know, USAA is kind of that example of a hotline uh, type quoting system where they're, they're not going to give you that information. They're just pumping a quote out for you. Um, and then, you know, the other independent agent obviously had access to that information, but for whatever reason, you know, decided that they didn't want to share that or they weren't going to share that with the, the home buyer. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing or a knock on that agent. It's not their responsibility and it's not their job to do that. You know, I, I, I think for me, whenever I see something that looks a little funny, I try to do my best to give the home buyer the information that I would want to know if I was purchasing the home. Mm -hmm.